Okay, um, go ahead and introduce yourself and say who you are. I'm Judith Ferry Baker, and I was the lover of Lee Harvey Oswald, an innocent man who actually uh, tried to save the president's life, was a member of an abort team, and um, they captured him. They knew they had to kill him right away because uh, you know, he couldn't say, I'm working for the CIA, because he'd been in the USSR for almost three years. He knew that if he said that, they would all be killed. So they, he's wearing his Marine ring. That, that when, would he kill the president wearing a Marine ring? That, that means always faithful. That's their, you see, he didn't do it. And I, I know he didn't do it. What's the biggest evidence you have that would prove that he was innocent? The biggest evidence that I have, the fact that we have, this is external evidence that's come forth, of course, Victoria Adams going down the stairs with her friend, and someone watching through there, he couldn't have gone down the stairs in only 75 seconds between when he was, uh, when the uh, last shot was fired, and he was seen in the lunchroom, 75 seconds, you can't even get down the stairs, find these and, of course, the stairs were wooden, would have made a lot of noise, but they suppressed that evidence. But there's a lot more evidence. I am a living witness to the fact that he told me 37 and a half hours before the assassination that he was going to probably be found dead with a gun in his hands, a rifle in his hands. He wanted me to stay alive because I wanted to just kill myself if something happened to him. Instead, I, I mean, I had to live with this for many years until yeah. it was safe. Why did he think that that was going to happen to him? Well, because he had saved Kennedy's life three weeks earlier in Chicago. When I said this in 1999, nobody believed me. I didn't know about Chicago. He didn't tell me that. But he told me a few weeks ago he had saved the president's life. He thought he did. Now, Abraham Bolden has come out and said three weeks before in Chicago, a person named Lee saved Kennedy's life. And he got that information uh, as a member of the Secret Service from the FBI. And this man, his word is gold, absolutely gold. Now, Lee had joined an abort team. He believed that he was going to be killed because he was under suspicion for protecting Kennedy once. He sent a telex, too, mm -hmm. uh, saying that a, a assassination group, you know, right wing, was going to kill Kennedy. So he was, he said, uh, they've shown me too many people. Now, if they show you too many people, they're not going to keep you alive that were, you know, involved. Then he was shot, of course. He was the first live uh, death on TV of a murder. The first one. And, for, and he was shot down in front of 70 police officers, which a lot of people don't know. And the, he was handcuffed, triple handcuffed. People don't know that either. And they were had regular handcuffs on it. each. The person on each side, they each had a handcuff on him as well. So he couldn't even move sideways. You see Captain Will Fritz moving forward ahead right before his shot gets out of the way. The shot goes off. Everybody screams. This man, Will Fritz, doesn't even turn his head. So there are a lot of things. There, of course, go to Lola for JVB for LHO. This is YouTube videos. We've done t uh, 10 of them uh, showing different ways that Lee Oswald was framed. And I'll give you an example. One, the rifle was supposed to be uh, kept in a blanket for two months on a dirty floor that was in the garage with wood chips and all that. There's not a particle of anything on that blanket, number one. Number two, the blanket itself was tied up. Apparently, They said that the rifle was tied up with string on both ends. One end was open and that the rifle had been pulled out. The string on the other side was tied with a granny knot. Now, Marines are famous for their fancy knots. They have to take these knotting courses, and the last thing that he would ever have done is tie something in a granny knot. In other words, he didn't tie the blanket. Number three is that cremoline, they, they had a special, um, uh, yeah, when you're, these old rifles, they had a special oil that was on them. It was a little bit sticky, but there's not one fiber of the blanket on, on that rifle. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's just a setup all the way. I never saw him with a rifle. I saw him with everything he owned because I helped him move in to 4905 Magazine Street. Anyway, if you read the book, uh, me and Lee, you'll understand why he actually rented out 4907 with his name on it, had Mr. and Mrs. Eric Rogers move in, and they took his mail for him. That was from the USSR and things like that. Okay. So I'm just saying I am a living witness as to his true intentions and who he really was, and he was one of ours, and he was betrayed and used. And I'm uh, speaking up because Justice must be done for Kennedy. We're obstructing justice by saying in this obsolete 
Warren Commission stuff 50 years ago, we've had 5 million new uh, files released. And there are new witnesses such as myself and they won't even look at us. They want this lie, this legend, to stop anyone from looking any deeper. You can't have honesty, you can't have truth, you can't have justice in this country by saying Oswald killed Kennedy because then you're covering up a new government that came in. It, the government was an illegal government and they've used illegal means ever since to tear down this great country. And this is a great country. It's taken a long time, but they're killing it. Mm -hmm. Well, so, thank you. Thank you for your time. I bet. God bless Thanks. you now.